Now we're going to see if we can use that go to place idea and start sending your animal around, um, like go to bed, go to crate. In this case, we're gonna use go to pool and Captain's afraid of water. So if you have a dog that doesn't like water, this might be a good one for you. Um, if going into a pool isn't something that your dog wants to do even without water, it, like um, I know Layla doesn't like foxes, um, you could do just like what I did here with the chalk and just kind of mark areas and send her to that place. And you could maybe put like a little bed down there and send her this way. So what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna make that pool really reinforcing to him. Yeah. Boy, so he's only getting cookies because he's in the pool. I say as it bounces off his face and out of the pool. Good job. Oh, what do we got? Touch. It's really sending him to the pool that's really the reinforcing part. Like, yes, I want him to get cookies in there, but I want him to drive to get into that pool. Yeah, go pool. Yes. Down. Come on, touch. Ready? Sit. Ready? Go. Go pull. Yes. Good job. Yeah. Place. Place. What'd you find? Sit, ready, go pool. Yes, down, sit, sit, <coughs> yes. Good job. Like, give me the food. So give me the He's afraid of water, so I'm only put, I only put the water on for a second. There's not a lot in here. Go pool, yes. <laughs> so even with a little bit, you can see how he's hesitating going in. But I'm still gonna toss a little bit of cheese into the pool. Yes. Good job. And this is why it's so important to send him instead of just only treats just when he's in the pool. I want him to jump in. The jumping in is the part that he needs to practice. Ready? Go pool. Go pool. like that much water in this pool. So I'm trying to just slowly desensitize him to it. It's his feet getting wet that he really dislikes. But he likes cheese a little bit more. But you can see how he's a lot more hesitant here than he has been with any of the other activities that we've done. So if you have a nervous dog and you're trying to do a trick that uses a prop, whether it's a pool or a box, um, he likes the pool, he hates the water. Like you saw how comfortable he was going in and out of the pool. But as soon as I added any water, his tail is at, at midpoint. He's not as enthusiastic about the idea of the pool, even with a, mo a modicum of water. Um, so what my hope is to do is start to desensitize the dog in a way that is comfortable for them. So I'm not gonna fill the pool all the way up and say, go on in buddy, because he's not going to do it. Um, but he is still in there and he's kind of licking up some of the water. He's like, hey, this isn't so bad. Um, so we're going to just keep slowly acclimating him to this idea of pool, but it's really the sending him that's going to help him uh, build his confidence, not necessarily just standing in it, see how he's kind of out, he's got his back end out of it. That back end awareness is really important for confidence, right? So if he's not putting his back end in, he's not very confident about it. Yeah, good boy, come here, sit, go pool. Very different dog than we saw a minute ago. Captain, sit. Yes, good job. So asking him to sit with like less than a quarter of inch of water in half of the pool, the rest of the pool is dry. 
that sit, he knows sit till the cows come home. But doing it with something that he's a little less excited about is a lot harder. So reinforcing for really easy behaviors with something that's really hard for them is really important. So while you guys are going through these things, I want you to think about some things that might be really hard for your dog. Um, and how can you start to help them build confidence in those situations using tricks? Well, Captain's favorite thing is find it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run him in the house real quick. I'm going to pause the recording. I'm going to fill up the pool a little bit more. And then I'm going to have him find the cheese in the pool with more water. Because find it is his favorite thing. So I'm going to use that to help him get confidence doing this pool work. With you guys, I want you to think about some things that might be really hard for your dog. And what is their favorite thing and how can you help them overcome it? When they're doing a trick or they're doing something that is really pleasurable to them or something that they like more than anything else in the world, you can overcome some of this fear, which is why I like trick work and finding things that they like so much more than just trying to use basic obedience to get them to do things that they don't find pleasurable. Um, you can make anything that's a little bit scary a lot less scary if your endorphins are up and you're having a good time. So I'm going to take a minute to pull off for a second. I will be right back. I'm going to have you guys just kind of keep working with your dog for a second. I'm going to fill up this pool. And then we're going to see what he does when I use the words find it. So saying find it, two inches of water. He doesn't look thrilled, but he's tolerating this. And his head is going all the way in. And again, it's only a couple inches. He hops out. Being 90 degrees helps, of course, because that the cool water feels good even if you hate the pool. Cap, find it. Go find. He's like, well, maybe there's an easy one. But I don't know if you guys can see, but he's bubbling under the water because the cheese sunk just enough. And out he goes. Good job. So teaching him how to like tolerate water, even in these little bits, has made bath time a lot better. Um, he hates getting wet, but he'll kind of tolerate it enough that we can give him a bath like only three times a year, but like, but it's better than when we first got him. And honestly, this is the only thing we found that he doesn't like is water. So we've, we've been able to work with him on it for the last like four years. Um, and so him just jumping in the pool like that, like when it's empty and he's super comfortable with it, that's great, adding a little bit of water. I think what made it really scary for him was that he saw me putting the water in for the first round. Um, usually, like if it's that little water, he just jumps in and out and he's usually fine with it. Um, but I think because he saw me with the hose, it was a little scary because that's a predictor that, oh no, I might get sprayed. And we've been very careful not to ever spray him 